Hello everyone. Today I'm going to continue explaining AirBlock and we are going to do some code to program the AirBlock in Air mode and Hovercraft mode. Let's start. Our objectives for today things to remember before flying the drone, program the make block air block to fly, program the make block hovercraft to do dance move. Things to keep in mind before we start. Piloting a drone is challenging, as all of you know. It takes some effort to control a device in three dimensional space with both hands. Before you get started, I suggest you try learning the manual control I've explained the two controls below. We have the left control over here and we have the right control over here. This one, if we push the up arrow, it will go up here, down. It will rotate right and here it will rotate left. The other pedal, this will move the drone forward, this one backwards, this one right, this one left. This button will make the air, air block land on the ground. And of course, all of you know that this is the power button. Safety tips. If we want to fly the air block outside, we need to keep in mind that to fly it in a calm weather and not over water, all of you know that it's made up of light weight foam so a breeze will throw it away or move it away drift it away also we shouldn't fly it over water because if it fell in the water it will be damaged keep two meters distance from other people and objects for, this is for the safety be mindful of your surroundings if you're flying indoors is there anything that could crash into if you're outside is there something like electrical lines nearby of course, we shouldn't fly it near electrical lines. This will make a lot of damage. Remove the shields as a disrupt flight function. So here, if you notice, we have some icons, two meter. We have to stay away two meter. Fly it in calm weather, not over water. And these shields, you can use them um, if you want. But if you notice that the drone is not flying uh, the proper way, you can take them away or remove them. Calibrating the drone. This is the first step that we have to do before using our drone. We have to calibrate it. That means um, adjust it uh, to fly in a proper way. Before you take off, make sure to go into the top right hamburger menu for settings and click adjusting. Set the drone flat and click start. This will ensure the drone flies level. So this is how to calibrate the drone before your first flight. Now, how do you know which way is forward? I told you before, if you were in the class with me, that the red light means forward. This is from the top. And also from the bottom, the red LED means this is the forward. Okay, let's read. When you assemble the air block, it's important that the fan with the red dot on the foot button is at the top. See, this is the dot, red dot button. It should be on the top. Means forward. How do you know what section is the top? If you turn on your air block, the three LEDs will light up. The red LED points to the top. If you look here in this control unit, you will see that this is the forward direction and this is the backwards. When you are flying, the underneath of the propellers will light up green except for the one special one, which will light up red. This is the one that I'm talking about. All of them are green except the forward, it should be red. That's how you can tell what direction is forward. Let's do our first program. 
Now we are going to program the make block air block to fly. So air block, it's made by make block company. And the application is called make block. So first of all, we need to open the make block application on our phone or tablet. Then we need to choose the correct robot that we are working with, which is air block. Afterwards, go to the creation option, hit the plus button, choose air mode because we are going to fly the drone, start a new project and lay out the following controls. So when we are there, we need to make something similar to this one with, with two controller, power button and a custom button. So we have a power button, custom button, and two manual control paths, this one and this one. So the final should look like this. Let's move to the code. Once you have that set up, click the button again and select code. So we need to click on the button, the custom button that we added. And we need to hit the code and enter a code similar to this one. When button pressed, power on the drone. Drone rising for 0.5 seconds. Drone should hover. Drone should turn left by 360 degrees. Then the drone should turn right to or by 360 degrees. Then it will shake for one second and it will stop. To find these blocks, you have to go begin first. Then everything related to movement, you can find them in the move tab.
Okay, let's now try to program the hovercraft. We are going to do so by using the same steps that we did earlier, but instead of choosing the air mode, we are going to choose the land mode. To do so, we are going to follow these steps. Creating the code, open the make block app, pair your air block to your tablet, click my projects, click add plus icon to select land mode, click design tab, add the following from the move menu option, the power over here, the two direction palettes, and custom over here, add a new button, which is this one, and rename it to dance. So far, you should have something that looks like this one. Let's continue. The code. Once you have that set up, click the button again and select code. The same as we did before. You will see two blocks. Enter the code similar to what you see below. So first, we have to set suspension front to this number, which is 100,000, and rear throttle, the same number. Now, I have to tell you something. This one is done with the previous uh, application software version. The new one, they removed the front throttle and rear throttle and just they, they put a new block which is called set suspension and directly you can enter the number. It's the same block. So they just um, minimize it rather than saying front throttle and rear throttle. They make one block which is set suspension and the number. So don't panic if you don't see this one. Use that one. Hovercraft forward at angle zero, duration for one second. We have to wait one second, then hover again forward with angle 180 this time for another second. Wait one second, then hover craft right angle zero with or at one second using one second. Wait for one second and again hover forward angle zero for another one second. We're going to see this at class. about the code a few key things to notice in the picture above we use the set suspension block this is important because this defines the power the air block will use to go back and forward i entered huge numbers meaning it will go really really fast we also used a weight block why did we do that because we need to give our air block time to complete an operation before jumping into the next one I used a block called the button released event. Why? This means it will only take off once you take your finger off the button. It means it will just start the code or the movement when you remove your finger from the button. If you hold down your finger and don't release it, nothing will happen. Okay, it's time for us to execute the code and look at our air block or hovercraft and see what it will do when we hit dance button. Thank you for being with me in this session. Mr. Hassan Ghabri, your technology teacher is out.